long relying on large collections of multiple launch rocket systems MLRSs, as cheap, effective fire support weapons. The Soviet Army adopted the BM-30 Smirch Whirlwind series in 1989 for its long-range, battlefield rocket projection needs. The type was formed from the chassis of the MAZ-543M or MAZ-79111 series of 8x8 wheeled heavy military trucks and included a forward set crew compartment, front left, and a rear mounted, trainable launcher unit containing 12 300mm launch tubes. Able to fire rockets containing a variety of warheads, including chemical types, the Smirch saw widespread adoption with Soviet supported and aligned nations and states from Armenia to Venezuela. Even after the dissolution of the Soviet Empire, the vehicles were passed on to successor states while local models has been maintained by the new Russian army. While its footprint today remains ever more limited compared to its peak worldwide usage period, the vehicle still holds much battlefield value to its operators. Russia manages a current, 2015, stock of over 100 systems though the series has since been superseded on paper by the adoption of the more modern 9A50-2-4 Tornado line, detailed elsewhere on this site. The Smirch series is a whole weapon system containing several key critical components for effective functioning. BM-9A52-2 is the eight-wheeled launch vehicle making up the heart of the system. It is a unit weighing nearly 44 tons, long, and features a length of 12 meters with a width of 3 meters and a height of 3 meters. It is powered by a single V-12-D-12A. 525A series diesel-fueled engine developing 525 horsepower located at the vehicle's front right side. The hull is suspended across all eight vehicles allowing a cross-country capability. Road speeds reach 37 miles per hour with operational ranges out to 530 miles. The launcher component of the launch vehicle sits over the rear section of the truck and features traverse, an elevation controlling which means the vehicle can be parked facing any direction. The launch tubes are arranged in three groups of four tubes each, with two groups set across from one another in a two-by-two two arrangement. The remaining tubes are arranged in a single row across the top of the other eight. This helps to clear the lift controls and support structure found at the base of the launcher pack. Prior to firing, the vehicle must come to a complete stop and have its recoil legs lowered. The operating cabin for the launcher is featured after the driver's compartment and over or between the first and second axles. The smirch can be made ready to fire in 3 minutes and displace, move to another location, in a little as 2. Its 12 rocket payload can clear the launcher unit in 38 seconds while reloading takes approximately 20 minutes. The TZM 9T234-2 serves as the reload vehicle, ammunition carrier and carries with it 12 300mm rockets. 1K123 Vivoy designates the accompanying command post, CP, component and the PM. 2-70 MTOV serves as the system's direct maintenance support vehicle. 9A52 formally designates the BM-30 series and now includes the 9A52-4, a lighter weight model featured on a Cam AZ-6350 series truck with variable launcher packs supported, as such it is made more modular. 9A52-2T designates the export smirch featuring a Tatra T816 series truck chassis. Over the life of the BM-30's operational service, several rocket projectiles were developed beyond the standard 9M528 high explosive, fragmentation, HIFRAG, variant. This has come to include cluster-based munition and mine dispensers, anti-personnel, anti-tank types, heat, high explosive, anti-tank, rockets, and thermobaric, high-temperature fuel air bomb, rockets. Despite its Cold War origins, the Smirch series was not used in combat until the 2014 during the Syrian civil war by government forces against rebel groups. That same year, it was featured by Ukrainian government forces in their offensives against Russian-backed rebels in the Ukrainian East. While an unknown number of Syrian army BM-30s remain in service, the Ukrainian army was known to possess some near 100 systems at one point. Pakistan locally produces the BM-30 as the A-100E through its Suparco factory of Karachi. Some 36 vehicles have since entered service with the Pakistani army. Neighboring India is another operator with 42 9A52-2T models in service.